Well, coming up, the Judiciary Committee is set to hold a hearing next week to discuss short selling. So why have the hedge funds started balking at the chance to speak up? CNBC's Charlie Gasparino has this story. You definitely want to hear it. Well, hearings are set to begin on Capitol Hill next week. The focus this time around is short selling. That's something CNBC's on-air editor Charlie Gasparino has been digging into. And, Charlie, you've got a preview for us today. What, curtain raiser. A curtain raiser. What should we expect out of this? Well, you know, I mean, Overstock.com's chief Patrick Burns' jihad against short sellers appears to be having a, a major impact. On Tuesday, the Senate Judiciary Committee is going to have a hearing about short selling, hedge funds, all the related issues. Now, Byrne, from what I hear, is not going to be there, but all the issues near and dear to his heart will be fully aired. Short selling will be aired. Naked short selling, that's short selling without taking a, getting, getting delivery of the stock. That's one of the things that Byrne has criticized a lot of hedge funds about. Uh, hedge funds will be getting a big airing. They'll be talking about SEC Capital and some of the other, other major hedge funds that are involved in this controversy. And the issue of independent research, namely how these sort of independent research firms or firms that call themselves independent research have these relationships with short, with short sellers and hedge funds, whether there is any payment, cash going back and forth. All these issues will be aired. Now, initially, a lot of the hedge fund reps decided not to show up. They said they, you know, had scheduling conflicts, okay? Now, one of the reasons why is because they thought this was a Patrick Byrne-inspired jihad. And the reason why is a ranking member of the Judiciary Committee is Orrin Hatch. He's from Utah. Patrick Burns company, Overstock.com, is in Utah. But from what we understand, at least one major hedge fund group is going to be there. Jim Chanos, his, his group, is at least going to be represented, from what I understand. So this thing will occur on Tuesday. There's one thing I need to point out. I need to read this. Finally, you should know that the committee has asked me if I would help them navigate the complicated world of independent research. They asked me because last year I wrote a book called Blood on the Street. I told the committee I'd be willing to entertain their questions. So they're calling. Entertain. They're asking you for advice on how to <laughs> figure this out. Too. Yes, yes, and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna entertain their questions. This whole thing smells like a witch hunt. You know, I mean, I don't well, know. That's what they think. I don't know how the shorts sell. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know if shorts cost us as much money in the last couple of years and longs cost us in the late 90s. You know, I mean, it, it's well, not I, really, I, let, let you know. Uh, Dan, let me point something out. I, I spoke to some of the staffers, mm -hmm. uh, Arlen Inspector is the Judiciary Committee chairman. I mean, he, he does have an interest in issues related to the market. I spoke right. with him in the past. He has considered stuff about arbitration, whether, you know, securities arbitration, right. how people have to take, uh, you know, when they get ripped off by their brokers, this sort of panel of arbitrators is not always so fair to, to small investors right. so he ha does consider these sort of issues and this has caught his attention listen it's got a lot of attention from the media yeah, we, it's caught our attention we, we talk about we, it all we, the time. we did we did a lot but of stuff it, particularly on independent research 60 minutes in the profile but, so it is in the news okay but the short sellers clearly believe that you know with Orrin Hatch on that committee Patrick Byrne being a player in Utah remember overstock.com is a fairly large com company it's in Utah uh, Orrin Hatch is from Utah that there is this sort of connection and at least they bought that first but from what I understand Chanos is now going to show up, or at well, least have a representative well, I, show I worry, you know, that the Congress is going to try and simplify this issue. It's going to be like giving a dog a stick of dynamite. And they, they don't really know what they're talking about. What's wrong about. with simplifying this issue, by the way? This is like, I no, mean, no, no, I, no, 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 I think it's simplifying, it's simplifying mean demonize. Right. I mean, people think, look at shorting as, oh, they're trying to push the well, stock down, or they're betting on stocks. You know, they're, they're, the stocks go two ways. You can make, if you're smart enough to, to, to find one that's going to go down, why not be able to yeah, leverage it? I, I agree with that 100%. You know? The problem here is that I think the SEC really needs to step in and tell us about naked shorting. I mean, it's a complicated issue. Right. It's short selling when you don't really have, you take delivery of the stock. So you can essentially short more than what's out there. Right. That's so I fine. think one of the one of the benefits of a hearing like this is to get some clear cut rules but on no, that. But no, nobody, nobody on Capitol Hill was interested in doing that. People on Capitol Hill are interested in making their constituents seem like they're saving them money, and they're going to talk in, in ten second sound bites, and they're not going to get to the heart of the issue. Well, that's a cynical view. That's a cynical view. I hate to think that that's what happens. You, you may be right, but we'll we'll see next week. Yeah. Kind of get a, a touch on all of this.